Mr. Gan Tian Po, take your three cards together. Thank you. Madam, with climate change comes more extreme weather conditions. Singapore is no exception, and we are experiencing more unpredictable and intense rainfalls. Going forward, we can continue to expect more of such sudden and heavy precipitation. What are some of PUB plans to mitigate island floods in the face of this challenge? As we continue to develop and become more densely built up, how can we ensure that we have enough green lungs and basins to absorb the surface runoff? Do our reservoirs and catchment tanks have sufficient capacities? What upgrading and assistance measures have we implemented to protect and help residents and sort house in order in older low-lying areas? Will the ministry provide an update on the safety measures such as higher parakeets for pavement next to drains for the protections of pedestrians during floods. Next, temperatures have been rising in Singapore and our residents have been feeling it outdoors and in their homes. There are some measures that we, are, we as individuals can take to help reduce heat emissions. Firstly, we should reduce the use of air conditioning and switch to fans wherever possible. Aircon cools an interior by releasing the waste heat to the outside. Adjusting the aircon to a comfortable temperature or around or just about 25 Celsius degrees instead of blasting cooler air will help reduce the amount of heat that it generates to the exterior. The use of refrigeration has a similar impact on external temperatures. Reducing the demand for non-essential cool items for Cool, cool items, for example, drinks, ice cream, and desserts is another way to help reduce heat emissions. Would the Ministry advise what more can we do to reduce heat emissions from human activities? Next, increasingly due to human activities, such as transportation and intense use of air conditioning, Singapore is experiencing worsening urban heat island effects in short called UHI. This is generally understood to describe the air temperature difference between urban and rural areas. However, in the Singapore context, it will miss a difference between our built out and green areas. How will Singapore's urban temperature rise as a result of global warming? And how would this aggravate the UHI effects? How does the government measure the extent of the UHI effects and has any research been conducted? Which sectors are the main contributors to the urban heat island effects in Singapore? And what has the government done to mitigate or reduce it? Does the ministry have any new measures to reduce this? And how can we as an individual contribute to these effects, to this effort? Thank you.